All right, guys, part two. The check engine light came back on after we replaced the MAF sensor. Looking at the reader, we are still getting a P0171 System 2 Lean Bank 1. Uh, the MAF sensor did not work, so we're going to move to the PCV, PVC valve. All right, guys, why I think it's the PCV, PCV crankcase valve is because if you look at this, oil cap we're able to remove that freely no issues but when we start the engine this is what happens when we start the engine and try to open this up you can actually hear the hissing and it's hard to open so we're going to try to swap this out in order to remove this you got to pop these clips out you have to squeeze this and push and it should pop this one I'm just going to leave on. I'm going to pull this out and then remove it once it's out of the car. This one right here that's also connected, this bigger one down in here, you have to make sure that you lift it and push it over the lip. I'll show you what I mean later, but probably 90% of the time it's going to crack. I cracked this one, so anyways. Um, I'm going to remove this now and put in the new one. All right, guys, this takes a T20 to remove, so we're going to remove this. We're not going to all go all the way because we don't want these screws to fall into the belly plane. So we're going to lightly remove these and put these to the side. All right, guys, if you got a metal magnet dish, you can buy these from Harbor Freight. I would just recommend throwing these into the metal dish and you're not going to lose those. Take your time, be careful. All right guys, for the last one I have a magnet. I'm just going to pull out and pop it in here. So this should remove. Let's put this aside. This should remove. Now I can pull this piece out, squeeze it, and pop, and there it is. So with this one, it's pinch and pull, pinch and pull. All right, for this one, what I was talking about is be very careful because it does crack. As you can see, this cracked here. I'm not going to replace it because the top's still good, so it should still push in. And then what we want to do, get a needle nose pliers and pull out this gasket here. And then just clean up a little bit about around here. Okay, then we want to get our new gasket and place it in. There is a specific orientation it should follow. But that should fit right in there. Then we want to get our new PCV valve. And I'm going to put the bottom screw at the bottom. So I can get it started. Okay. So I'm going to pop these in. one this is plastic you do not want to over tighten that should pop on and that should pop on all right, so it's installed. Let's try to start this bad boy up and see what happens. I'm going to monitor the short-term fuel trim. It looks like it's not increasing. We were at 25%. It's actually at zero. It's fluctuating between 0 0.8, 1.0. So it's better than the max at 25%. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear this code right here. 
the P0171 and hopefully this addresses the issue. We'll drive it for a little bit, but uh, we'll see. All right guys, cleared the code, the car's running good. No issues, we will monitor it and we'll see. If we have to do a part three, we will. So far, check engine light has not come back on. If it does, we'll make a part three. So far, it's running smooth. Hopefully, we won't need a part three. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.